Hey, it's July 27th, 26th maybe, and I'm, and I'm doing a video tonight. It's late, but I just, I'm kind of sad. I'm really, actually, my heart's kind of broken because tonight, I, after I was praying with the boys and putting them to sleep, we spent all weekend painting their room. We painted it uh, like Dodger Blue and then created our own stencils. We cut out three GBs, the three Graves boys, the moniker that Evan gave uh, to us after Jessica died. And uh, so we, I painted that up on the wall too. It's really cool. It was exhausting. Uh, I don't know if he's tired from it all um, or if it just hit him. But tonight after we were praying, um, he just asked God to say hi to his mom for us. And then just started crying. And he's a kid who doesn't cry. He hasn't cried for nearly three years. Uh, there was one. There was one day where things were. He was acting up, and I had to sit him down at Panera Bread and just talk with him and find out what was going on. And I asked him about his mom. He started crying then. And we bought a journal that day that we were we are calling the Mom Journal. And we began. I just said, Hey, I want you to start writing stuff down about how you feel and begin to let this out because you don't have to be strong let me be the strong one and you just be a kid you don't have to be the adult you don't have to be strong for all of us you can say how you feel and cry it's okay so that was the first time that he cried that was about a month and a half ago tonight was the second time that i've seen him actually cry about his mom and this isn't a video to exploit how he's feeling it's just to be real with everybody and say that this stuff hurts and um, I, I know what it's like, and I, as I laid with him, I just laid with him in his bed and, and held him and told him it was okay to cry and just go ahead and cry. And, and he did, and he kept crying and kept crying. It was uncontrollable for him, and I didn't want to tell him to stop. There was no reason to do that because he hasn't let it out, and I know the agony that he was feeling. And uh, I just wanted to let him get that out a little bit, so I'm hoping that tonight is the beginning of a healing process for him and that he can begin to realize that he doesn't have to be the tough guy doesn't have to be the leader and he can be a kid so it makes me sad and my my youngest son it was funny because he's been the one who's been very emotional for three years he was actually encouraging his brother so it was really good to see and uh, you know this is in the wave of many things that we've been doing, many accomplishments, the paintings that I have in my house and the, and the band performance they did in front of 250 people at their arts annual fundraiser, which I have yet to show you, but it was fantastic. I'm so proud of them. And I see them growing up. I see them becoming young men, and I see them dealing with emotions, and I see them dealing with um, the the onset of changing hormones and, and all that stuff. and and uh, they go to karate too, they're really blessed and they have many many opportunities but I'm, I don't know, it's just it's really sad tonight so that is not to be a downer, that's just reality in single dad life and uh, this is what happens when kids lose a parent early I read a Wall Street Journal article about two months ago and I'm actually going to try to do a documentary about it, this is why I'm doing, was doing some filming uh, of the art concert they put on but the article said that kids who lose parents early in life statistically are shown to not be very successful as they grow up uh, not very functional as adults and so I am happy they have opportunities I will never it's it's my job at this point to give them every opportunity and to be there for them no matter what and put them before me and uh, help them to overcome that statistic and I think they'll be successful I think when you see what they're doing and what they've done what they've accomplished and where maybe where they're going uh, hopefully you'll agree but there's just so many phases to this thing there's so many different waves and uh, I think as I started off early and Christian my youngest uh, has been dealing with for so long and we're still having an issue uh, this year w without them being uh, homeschooled anymore now they're gonna be well they've been going to school and they were they were counting on 
having this one year, the only year that in school that they'll ever spend together on lunch, may change. So uh, just more to deal with from the loss of their mom. But it's okay. It's life. It's part of life, at least. And we're all going to go through this stuff eventually. So uh, anyway, that's my journal for tonight. No advice. Just wanted to be real with everybody and let you know what's going on.